Hi oh, guys, this is an update on the Mirage level entry rooms. We have several videos on Mirage rooms and uh, this is a January 2014 up 14 update because I feel I have to really um, <clears throat> keep you updated and show you uh, the, the condition of the rooms if they've you know, they've been remodeled further, further or if they are worn out, you know, some resorts, I <clears throat> just like a few months makes a huge difference. But to summarize this resort, which is Mirage, and this is a level entry standard room with two queen beds, um, is absolutely fine. It's in great condition. Um, this is actually pleasantly a non-connecting room. If you have seen our other videos, uh, many of them are, well, many of them are connecting, but you can actually ask for a non-connecting, which is what I wanted. This time we don't have a strip view. We have a view of the uh, uh, downtown and mountains and but it's fine uh, by me because as you know I don't really mind the, the strip view I've seen it so many times and more importantly we were able to check in uh, really really early it wasn't even 12 o'clock so that's really wonderful and I would take almost any room for that but you know at night you'll be able to see if, if you stay here Treasure Island win and of course downtown uh, some of downtown and of course stratosphere trump towers and circus circus so you will have some lights if you're into lights and uh, you know gl glamour at night but in the day you'll see mountains and it is beautiful really uh if you look down of course that's what you see we're on the 23rd floor and if you actually ask for a pool view then of course you look down and you see the pool and we have videos showing you various types of rooms and one also showing you the strip view so that doesn't change and you can check those videos in terms of the room it's delightfully it's beautiful beautifully uh furnished the um the carpet actually could use a wash i have to want i mean listen it's not as nowhere near as bad as it is in in some of the resorts that we have reviewed cheaper ones but i have to admit you know it isn't perfect I wouldn't necessarily want to walk bare feet here, but you know, always, always bring your slippers. And, um, but it's fine, you know, it's not worn out. It's just a little old, so to speak. The rest is in absolutely good condition. You've got a beautifully, er beautiful ergonomic chair here. Um, and a modern desk with several outlets. A beautiful TV it's it's rather large and uh, more importantly uh, it's HD at least um, you can watch high definition channels at least as long as they actually broadcast in high definition uh, a good selection of channels and uh, the internet is average I'm afraid it's not super fast I'm connected uh, I'm connected to it now and uh, it, it, it's average nothing nothing to say the window is opens which some of you may actually be very happy about and you know I mean if you want a little bit of fresh air you don't have to necessarily always have the air conditioning on but this is the air conditioning here pretty standard controls and that's the vent so it doesn't blow on your you if you are lying down but it will blow on you if you're actually lying on the desk um, there is of course a mini bar which I cannot touch nor open otherwise we get charged <laughs> uh, decent sized drawers actually they're not that they're not that deep are they um, but here you've got additional drawers here it's all tastefully decorated the beds are comfortable if they're the same as they were a few months ago uh, in terms of um, how it's presented I mean it was exactly like this as we moved so it, it wasn't perfectly done but you know these are really trivial things very very trivial things uh, for some they're important though so I want to point them out so this is it. it's a lovely room um, it's a lovely resort more than the room itself I really like the resort you will hear a little bit of noise from this room or any room at Mirage because unless you're in a suite you've got the outside door practically in your bedroom there is no foyer that will dampen the noise and there will be noise from the corridor um, what else do you want oh yes it's time to show you the bathroom but before that I want to show you the walking closet well it's not really walking just a closet 
Um, it's actually quite spacious and there are plenty of hangers. Uh, no robe. For that you have to probably um, be a VIP check-in. But they are available on request, probably for a charge. So it's very much the same as it was when we came here just a few months ago. Nothing has changed, nothing whatsoever. So some rooms will be a little bit better appointed than others. Some room will be a little bit cleaner than others, depending on who is in charge with the uh, in charge of the rooms. And you've got lights. You've got. Uh, light from the top so you have you can have your own little reading light um, I have seen better of course but this is a beautiful resort with nice enough rooms um, and and large windows although they're not ceiling to floor so but the, re the resort itself other things other aspects of this resort make it really stand out if you have to pay full price maybe it's not worth it especially with regards to the room but um, it, it often you pay at mid mid-range prices uh, and this is a great location by the way so for a mid-range price and let's say fifty dollars Let's say $45 plus resort fee. That's that's a mid-range price if you actually manage to get, not to have to pay the very top end of the rate. And we can talk, we talk about that on top-buffet.com. Uh, of course, you can be comped and that means you can stay here for free. And we talk about how to do that on top-buffet.com. Um, but you know, this is a mid-range resort in terms of the rooms. Uh, but the, the, the resort itself is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so check it out. We have videos showing you the outside and videos showing you other parts of the resort. And more importantly, we go into details on top-buffet.com and now briefly I want to show you the bathroom and this is the bathroom which is very very small if you uh, need a large bathroom then don't come to Mirage end of story unless you actually book a suite uh, but if it's a level entry room that you're booking or interested in then the bathroom is very very small it kind of reminds me of the the size of quad although it's a lot nicer in here but still you've got a vanity a vanity mirror with lights I think yes there you go so that's that and that's nice but I want to show you it's it, it looks nice you know these drawers it's very cute um, it's tastefully decorated but I have just spotted something that usually I don't see a mirage which is this it's some um, stuff that's coming off uh some caulking that it's coming off but that's it you know i usually don't actually witness anything like that which is a shame and there's a little bit of maintenance that probably should take place there so uh you know don't expect absolute perfection don't expect absolute perfection but it is a lovely resort nonetheless and we go really nice resort and we go in detail on top dash buffet.com top dash buffet.com. I hope this has been of use and see you there guys. Bye bye.